Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. Uh, this is my Mono Blue Devotion deck. Uh, I, s I lack a lot of cards. I lack uh, the cards that are rotating this fall that I've already sold at their peak, like Tidebind the Mage and Cyclonic Rift. But I do have the Theros cards that make this deck possible. So I have replaced the cards I miss with bad cards, but I'm open to change them. I just uh, Remove three domestications from the sideboard and replace them with essence scatters. And now we're gonna play some standard with mono blue devotion. This deck seems insanely powerful, actually. I am quite surprised at uh, what this deck is able to do. I can't imagine that Tidebind the Mage and Cyclonic Rift changes that uh, a lot. It, I'm sure they improved the deck, but I still think it functions somewhat. So we're playing against low. We're still not saying anything at the beginning of the matches. Uh, Omen Spec could find the last land and then Nightwell Spec the Bident. Seems like a plan. Muta Vault. There is the land, but we still need the fourth land for stuff. So we take both these cards. I still think it's Nightwell Spectre Biden. So I swing with this. And he will be reluctant to waste the removal spell on my own speaker. Or do I play Tassa here? She will be active with Biden. And the Knight of Spectre really doesn't drain his resources, yet gives me more resources, which Biden will also do. Blocks. And I. No, Tassa won't be active with the Bident. She will be active with the Nightwell Spectre, but if he has removal... Now well, I'm going for the original plan. But he probably has removal for this. That will cost him his turn though, so now I can Bident the Omen Speaker, which of course was my plan the entire time. <laughs> Did you believe that? Tassa! Tassa! And it's time for Tassa, right? Raptor Tassa. Life and Zombies, yes, the tree one. And he will have to trade it for my Omen Speaker. It will be a dark day for Lifebane Zombie. Finally, we are playing Mono Blue Devotion versus Mono Black Devotion. It is the big matchup in standard right now, as I understand it. So, Raptor. Asa. Holding the raptor and trade with the life main zombie. I think I have two here. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have stayed back. It will lower the devotion as well, so she isn't a creature anymore. But I think that can be corrected. But now Clouds and Raptor dies and Tassa. No! But at least Tassa has the scrying, so I'm gonna draw creatures. Uh oh. Uh, put on bottom of library. What do I draw? I draw an omen speaker. 
A target which you can you control can't be blocked this turn. That seems pretty good. Wolving the raptor. Raptor dies. Horribly. We scry two. Faith foretold and Cloudfin Raptor put on top, put on top. Uh, so that's all we can do here, right? And he will get to attack with uh, with his Nightwell Spectre, but then I will attack with a lot of. Maybe he needs to stay back. No. Well, that means that he gets my. Ah, oh, I should have thought about that. Is that he gets my Cloudfin Raptor there. And he can probably deal with my fate foretold. But he doesn't. Uh, I take that. Put it on the Omen Speaker. Become unblockable. And you have to out resource him. But if he has another grey merchant. I will be in trouble, but that's not strange. I can do six damage and then six damage probably has. I feel that I need more creature interaction. Okay, I have the rapid hybridizations for desecration demons probably. It's just my third match with this deck. I'm so noobish with it. So I take that and die to Grey Merchant. No, it's at seven. No, I don't die. But it's close. Pretty nasty. Uh, swing and uh, replay Tassa. I think so. Yes. Critical land. No. Okay, this guy. Tassa. Uh, and we keep that Tassa. And the first one we're. Well, if he has another green merchant, then I just die. Or a removal spell, <laughs> then I just die. So, I probably need to swing with the Omen Speaker here. Ooh, <laughs> pack rat! Disgusting.
Next turn I make all these guys attack. What happens then? Then I can kill a couple of pack rats at least. But I will die, right? Uh, I will die because he will have five creatures. See if I can draw something out of this attack. Oh, he has some muta walls too, which are pack rats. So there's no way I live. Get to draw a card. This is why I have the cyclonic wrists in the deck, right? Because that is what I want to draw now. So we play the Arches Familiar. And Thassa! And keep that. And unpack it. Mm, Cyclonic Rift would have been really nice, though I would have died to the Grey Merchant <laughs> immediately. No, I could have attacked and won, could I? Four, seven, eight, nine, forty, no. I think this was hopeless. And now we need to make him attack. Do I even have the right stop set? do that. Oh, anyway, I'm dead, so... So I'm in the beginning of combat, but I didn't have a step! I didn't have a set to step. Replay? Okay, now I have the correct step set. And... that does not help me. Okay. So we need rapid hybridization. Uh, for huge things. Possibly essence scatters. Uh, take the uh, flyer, seems good. Out with Omen Speakers and Faithful Tolls. Hmm. Let's try this. I'm not very good at handling tree tree frog lizards, right? I don't think I am. Tidebinder Mage would have done nothing in this matchup, but uh, Cyclonic Rift would have. They are actually falling as well. I might buy a Cyclonic Rift or two. I want to play first. Keep this. Judges Familiar Frostburn Weird beat down, and then Tassa for. Fun times. Must remember the edges familiar. I have I have a problem with that. Do I have four for small words? Yes. The rest takes my rapid. Which is probably critical. 
Should I have protected it with the Yachis familiar? I don't think so. But I will regret it later. Sure. And really, what good does the Yachis familiar do? So of course I should have used it. Is Yachi familiar any good? It evolves Cloud Interruptor, but what else is good about it? Okay, low. Nice name. He must be a veteran of Medical Line. With that name. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Pack Rat! And I swing and play the god of the sea. The fantastic god of the sea with all her special abilities. Ta -ta! Ta -ta! Ta -ta! The god of the sea. Okay, the place is crawling with pack rats. We are in trouble. Trouble comes a knocking. Pack rat. Ooh, Doomle, that now I can't counter it. Darn. Uh oh. Well, at least I get to scry. Uh, okay, I take that. And I will hybridization it now while it is tapped because then it cannot use it in response. But then, of course, he has a 3 tree to beat me in the head with. And a 2 2. So I'm not sure that is super great. And discretion demon. To show me that I rapid hybridization. Ooh, the connections. Looking sweet. Okay, Tassa. Gotta have something. I'm not devoted to you. I secretly hate you. And the Master of Waves. He will just die. That's his thing, right? Uh, he's not for this matchup. Maybe you should cyborg him out against Mono, Blue, Mono Black Devotion, should you? Here he is, anyway. Three of his little friends. This is not going to end well for Master of Waves. Master of Waves. Master! Uh, yeah, he uh, randomly died. Unsurprisingly. And if I counted, I would have stopped this two damage. But I didn't. Yes, scry something. Oh, that's nice. Then we have a god who is active. Active god in the house. And swing for six. Am I being overly aggressive here? 
probably. Well, underworld connection won't be so hot. I think the Nightwell Spectre is going to die. Well, can you use that mana for something? I, I don't think so. So, uh, the hero has fallen. And of course he could. And that frog lizard is killing me. Tassa, find something good, Tassa! <laughs> uh, well, I am going to draw it. And I'm going to evolve it. Oh, it I doesn't evolve because... Oh, it's not a creature, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting tired. And uh, losing my hope. Well, he has four cards and underworld connections and I'm scrying one every turn. It's, I have no chance here. Getting rid of my Tassa for nothing. Wasn't very good. Well, a mono black devotion seems very favored in this matchup. Can keep Tassa away from the table and can kill Master Waves. And uh, I lose. Thank you for watching.